How do I deal with rejection? I'm dealing with a lot of rejection. The SZA of all people. Like that's, that's how you know you need to keep moving forward. Hey y'all, it's Chloe here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I can't believe this is gonna be my first video, but I'm just, I'm determined to do it. So today I'm cleaning my desk. It's actually a drawer, like a vanity, I guess you could say, but it's everything to me because I don't have an actual desk in my room. I really need to see it. So inside here, I have like this papers and stuff. But like, I bought these organizers that you just have not been used. I have my old passport here. My digital camera that's broken, sadly. My film, which I should take out of this bag. I'm gonna use it. That's all the film I have. So I need to refill on that once I get some money. This is um, my nail kit set thingy. It's not really a set or a kit. It's just a bunch of nail polish in one little baggy thing. Don't know whose this is, but yeah i have a bunch of shit in here i need to organize it and then this is like wh like what the fuck it's a mess so help me clean it this while i talk this is gonna be the video because i think this will be very therapeutic for me anyway i have these beats i don't know where to put my headphones and my bed is also a mess but i'm not cleaning that right now i have this should probably also take this out of the box right like i don't really need the box this i'm gonna put away in this box that i have under my bed of stuff that i keep like this so i'm just gonna get rid of stuff that i don't want in this drawer this nail polish okay i have a kit this first aid kit i can put this away i'm trying to make a tiktok of this process as well but they're just gonna have to see it on here on youtube i've been like so much in my head these past few weeks couple of weeks because I've been thinking about my career and what I want to do. Ow. Anyways, I've been thinking about my career and what I want to do. And I've been like trying to convince myself that I want to do education, do all that stuff, which I know one day I will want to do it. But right now I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. And so I like was crying because I finally confessed that I want to do something in media to my brother-in-law who does stuff in media. And I was like, but I feel like it's not realistic for me specifically. And he's like, girl, like that's my job. And I'm like, I know, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to be little like garbage. I just couldn't take it out of it. I mean, he didn't take offense to it. Like he really didn't because he understood where I was coming from, but like, it's just that like I said, I was like, I don't have any experience. Like, it's not something I've had. Not that I haven't had a passion for, because I definitely have. Like, if you see my camera roll from since I had a phone, I've always been making videos. Like, always. And I've always attempted to try to make these YouTube videos and stuff. And it's just, I never, like, follow through with it. I don't know why. I get scared that, like, it could be real. And I just can't, I'm scared to commit to anything. And that's why I'm... I even am scared to, let me just try these earrings on my heaven. So many like jewelry pieces that I never wear. I just have all of these like aspirations when it comes to like being a someone like that's does social media. I don't commit to it because like it feels just like out of my reach. I just feel like it's not actually something I can do. So I just don't do it, but I'm going to let go of it as being a career being something that's a career for me more so it's just for fun like this is something that i enjoy i enjoy talking i enjoy beauty i enjoy like life things just like talking like honestly talking is something i enjoy a lot so i do it a lot and this is a perfect way for me to do it so yeah i have all these film rolls that i don't really know how to store them and I have 15 euros. Ugh, I wanna travel again. How cute is this button that my friend got me in Sicily while I was there with her? Like, she didn't show me it until we got... What? Where did five go? Where did the five euro go? I love myself. Oh, I sat on it. Where did I put the Sicily button? <sighs> Thank you.
now I can't even find where I freaking put the scissors button. Where the frick did I just put it? I swear I'm like going insane. I've had this. This is garbage too. I really, really, really am in this place where I like I have so much pressure on myself and I I just I know I can be successful. Like I really do. I'm just scared of being successful in this way because I feel like it's not what I expected of my life. It's not what I actually planned. It's not what anybody would... Not that people wouldn't expect this, but I feel like it's almost like... I don't know. I don't know. I just... I doubt myself. I do doubt myself. Even when I, even though I say I know I can be successful, I just doubt myself because I feel like I'm not good enough. I'm not... Like, I don't know why I think I don't work hard enough for this kind of stuff, so. I have these like makeup palettes that I never use because, I don't know, I don't do my makeup like that. This is a toothbrush that I use to clean my shoes. I don't know why it's in this drawer. And this is a floss that I can be using. I use this Oral-B one that I bought in Costa Rica, but I really just don't even like it. Let's see this one. Spearmint. Okay, real question. I like this better. Should I... That was not a question. Should I be concerned that whenever I floss this right here, and I pull down, I can feel where my cavity was. It feels like there's still a cavity. And I got this cavity filled in. I'm getting too distracted. This is more products, face products. Like I should put them out in the open, but it's just, I'm trying to finish the other ones that I have first. How do I recycle nail polish? Because this is nothing, this is not good anymore. Is it? Oh no, it is good. I'm recycling jewelry. Everybody, I hate everyone. Let's talk about AI real back I'm on her thin night. Putting like jewelry and things to recycle in here. Like this bottle, I don't know. I have this waistband that I haven't used. That's not a waistband, that is a tr like resistant band. That's what I meant to say. I have this camera because I want to save all my film cameras. Even if they're broken, even if I don't want to ever use them again, I just want to save them. I have this hair dye and the developer. Maybe I should do that. Oh, I should put this away in the bathroom. Oh my god. This is my little reading lamp. Don't tell me it doesn't work. Oh, you just can't see the light because it's so dim. Turn off this light and see it. You can see it. Can you see it? S barely. Oh my gosh. You're telling me that. Like, this is garbage, bro. Garbage. This is garbage. This is not mighty bright anymore. I think I should put this in my makeup bag. Y'all, let me tell you about this product right here. Polish Choice, love her. I love Polish Choice. Now, that, now that's a brand I would want to work with. Um, however, let me tell you. I was not very educated at the time about retinol. And this is a 1% retinol treatment. And see, and peptides. And I use it like day after day. Because I was trying to add it to my skincare routine. Let me tell you, I got a, what is it called? Chemical burn. You're supposed to use it like once a week. I was using it like twice or whenever I did my skincare and that was too much, too often. Never again. So I low-key was like, oh my God, I can never use retinol again. And I have, I'm going to say I haven't really used that, used this since. It is just like a little trial size. But that was a trial. <laughs> that was a trial. The reason why I haven't used it is because I just I'm scared to use it again. I need to like do more research on it and stuff. But I, I think I will use it again eventually. I just I was scared and I'm still a little bit scared, not gonna lie. This is my adapter that I bought from when I was in Europe and stuff. I need to put this away as well. I don't know why. Like they're just things that I'm like, okay, this is not you don't need this here right now so why do i have a metro card and stuff here i don't know these are like little tags that i got in costa rica so i want to save them i have my my um little like cotton pad reusable pads for my face 
I have my little clippy thingies. Oh my god. I have a coin dollar. These are always so cool. I love these things. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know why I think I'm like a school like supplier here. This is my... Okay, another reason why I'm finding stuff in here that I'm like, this isn't even mine, is because my sister was using my room as her room for <gasps> for the months that I was gone in Costa Rica. I have stuff in here that's not mine. Like, this is probably Teresa's. But let me show y'all why I said it looks like I have like a school, I'm a school supplier. The phones that I kept in the airplane, like, do I need these really? It's a souvenir, it's a souvenir, I'm gonna keep it. I need somewhere to put these cords, like, why do I have so many? I have this Morphe brush thingy. There's no brushes in them, like, no brushes. Why do I have all the brushes outside of it? Like, I don't get it. Side, I just want what's mine. Mine, I just want what's mine. Let's take one of these brushes. Like, this is black. This is why I can't, like, clean because I get so distracted. Oh, I have, like, the biggest eyes over there. I love pulling out my eyelashes. You know who knows that really well? My ex. And he would be like, stop doing that. And I'll be like, no. Like, you don't know me. I'm out of touch, I need your lover, so I'm out of way. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm literally just playing with this dark ass eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, why does that look low key like cool? I've been riding, riding through this cold world. These Halloween earrings, but where is this hat? I don't know because I've never taken these earrings, I've never worn them. I'm not gonna lie, I did steal that, so like, maybe it's only right that I was stolen from as, as a reward, as a karma. Yeah, I'm gonna take, oh, I found the Sicily button. <laughs> watch me watch the video back and see that I put it in here. Like, love these things. More cords, like why? A hand sanitizer wipe, you know what, I'm gonna use this right now. Ooh, to clean this drawer. I would clean this one, but I'm just honestly like, that's too much work. I have to take out the jewelry and then put it back. Like, where am I gonna put the jewelry? Don't know. Anyways, what's gonna go in here? Decide, I have to be very intentional about this stuff. Should I put this in here? My, my skincare? Maybe I should put my skincare. So I'm gonna put these things, which are part of my skincare routine. So this is why I say I'm like a school supplier because I have all these pencils and pens and all those hair everywhere, of course. Can't forget that. My film, this doesn't belong in there, but I just, I can't get rid of it. I can never get rid of pencils and pens and things like that. Like I'm obsessed with stationery and things of that sort. Like I just really, really love it. But I definitely don't buy any more because I don't need anything more. Like, are you kidding me? No, I have like birthday cards in here that I definitely should take out. They shouldn't be in here. This is like, oh, oops. This is for my most recent birthday. So that's why I couldn't find them in my other thing where I keep it. Question, real question, real, real question. What's worse? Being left undelivered for days or being left on red. Tell me, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Cause I personally, I asked my sister and she's like, being left on the red is worse. Cause they saw it. And I was like, I think it's worse when it's just delivered because like they see that the message is there but they're actively ignoring opening it because they don't even want to respond. And it's like, that's so stupid to me because just open it and you don't have to respond. I rather that like, just don't respond. Obviously, I'm going through something like that right now. <laughs> it's so stupid because like, are you kidding me? Like, just text me back or just don't respond. Like, just like the message and go. If you really don't want to respond to me. It's just so childish too. I think that's what bothers me. It's just like, this pencil's garbage. Ow, oh my God, I really cut myself. 
like this it's just so stupid like just don't respond to me but don't just like be posting on your instagram be posting on your stories and then you have this whole dm that you're just literally actively not opening like i know you're opening other messages or doing whatever like that's so ridiculous maybe i'm like i'm not even hurt about it because i'm like okay like you act like i have something to lose here because i really don't um not me but somebody thinks i have something to lose which i feel like i know come on i just i think it's a principle i'm like just open it is this worth keeping in the box or should i just take it out like be honest we're just gonna take it out because safe space what sucks is that these are blue pens not even not even the colorful they're just blue pens so i was definitely bamboozled with that one why i have this in my drawer i have no idea the reason why i said that that i have this on my tiktok about it is because i was literally saying how i love miniature things and i just realized i have this and then i have like these jams that are miniature and honey that's miniature <laughs> i got my dog so let me say my idea again so i want to put these cotton pad thingies in here like stack them in here so i can just like click click pick it out and then like boom i'm gonna use it and then when i'm ready to wash them again i put them back in this little sack and i wash them like that you know really fucking on my ex because he validated me you know what scissors is real for that line because i feel like that would totally be me even though i don't think he would validate me anymore but like low-key yes yes this is exactly what i want you want a snack? I'd like a snack too. I don't want righteousness. I hurt too much. I lost too much. I lost too much. Yes, I love seeing this. I love seeing this. You know what? It's funny because like, I'm literally just talking. You guys can't even see what's going on here, which I don't know if that's boring, but that's what this all is going to be. My makeshift like wipes <laughs> hand sanitizer and a tissue paper i do it to you i think i'm like so caught up and like worried about doing things the way that i see other people do it and like it's like priscilla do it the way that you do it um that's like literally what just like went through my head right now because i've been freaking out like i just feel like i'm not I feel like I, I feel like I'm doubting myself. I am doubting myself. I'm not, I don't feel like I am. I just was going through my head is that like oh no my phone's dying. So anyway, I feel like I'm I am doubting myself a lot. And what just went through my head right now was like thinking about like just do it the way that you want to do it because you don't know where that's gonna take you. You know that that might take you the furthest than doing it how everybody else does it so that's just like kind of what just went through my head i was like really down to myself like oh my god like is this video stupid and then i'm like you know what just believe in yourself believe that like this is good enough believe that you're good enough so it's a constant battle but i'm working on it this is a progress it looks so great ew the lighting looks so bad but basically this is a problem should put this away in here it looks great. I'm really proud of this. And I'm going to close this up. I'm probably going to have to put stuff that's here in there. But not really. I'm just going to end this here. Because um, I'm going to finish this desk part on my TikTok. Or vanity. I don't know. It's not a desk. It's not a vanity. It's, it's I don't know what it is. It's the top of my drawer with the mirror. I'm going to do the rest on TikTok. So if you want to see that, you can follow my TikTok. But, um yeah thank you guys for watching for chatting with me i this is very therapeutic for me so i'm hoping to believe in myself a little bit more trust myself a little bit more i got this bye